Tatiana and Sergei Sipenka study the effect of biogel on different plants on their private plot. Their cozy garden shelters various flowers as well as vegetables and fruit. Caring for plants, they use only water and biogel. Sergei willingly shares his experience. Here we use biogel for spraying plants, that is, for foliar nutrition. Overdose is not harmful. One spring every 10 days is enough. These are sweet cherries, which are especially tasty when sprayed with biogel. The same can be said about tomatoes and cucumbers. These are flowers which under Tanya's care. As you see, they look healthy, no signs of fungus diseases, which often occur under drip irrigation. Such diseases are even more common in closed space, like here, with a high fence around. Now I'm going to make the working solution. Here is a bottle of biogel. I need about 50 grams for a 10 liter sprayer or watering pot. I just moisten the soil. On the left you can see tomatoes, on the right the newly planted strawberries. But you can already see fruits, because biogel strengthens plants resistant to fungus diseases and speeds up plants' growth. You can't find any signs of phytophthora on the tomatoes, though my neighbors are constantly complaining about it. Now I'm cutting off a dry branch and painting the cut with biogel because its composition is similar to wood. Don't worry if you happen to soil your hands. It's quite safe and ecologically friendly. It causes no harm either to animals or to people. And my pets, cats and dogs, drink it gladly. We use biogel in this rock garden about once or twice a month. Water lilies bloom very well if you add biogel to the pool. Now I'm adding about 100 grams. These red water lilies are going to come into bloom in about a week. My beloved wife Tatiana looks after all these flowers using biogel. Nothing but biogel, and the results are evident. Flowers love biogel, and we love flowers.